two Rugby World Cup hopeful countries will go head to head for the second time in as many weeks as the players and the coaching staff look to make those final adjustments to their squad heading in to the Rugby World Cup. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Rugby World Cup build up where we have another pre-World Cup match between France and England. The second one, the English took the incentive from match number one, getting the victory over the French. But we are here now in France for the rematch and there is changes are plenty. France have changed all but just three players from their starting 15, Main Street, Pickamoles and Spitting at the back will be the only ones remaining from the loss to England a week ago. It is a whole new look side. It is a very good looking side as well as all these players look to make their last chance impression on the coaching staff as they set their World Cup squads. England is in the same boat and they have made a huge change around 14 players have changed from the game that they won over France a week ago. Everyone except for Johnny May has made way for a whole bunch of new players and once again it's coming down to fitness, it's coming down to form and it's coming down to find your best 31 players heading to the Rugby World Cup. The big names here are back and it's a lot stronger four pack for the English as well. We have plenty of talent though and it'll be really interesting to see how the likes of this back line will go comparatively to last week. So much to learn, so much to see. Let's get down to the action and kickoff is not far away. It'll be France to get this match underway and it will be the veteran, the magician, Freddy Michelac, who will have the duty. He's on halfway, the buzzer goes, horn goes, whistle goes, it is all go here as we are underway. And Pepe pulls it down, Michelac gets it straight back into center. Joseph in the middle does well, Rob Shaw a bit of a scamper. And he goes miles upfield as well, through three tacklers. Finally going to the old ground in England with the advantage as Launchbury loses it to Fofana. Throws it out the back, Benarus, and away comes. Oh, good pass and pick up from Main Street. Michelac starting to get those fingers turning already as England come wide. There's a big chance for Noel, and he's taken down at the back. Great tackle from Spinning. Instant impression from Noel, and away we go to Cole now. Release. And Cole's taken down. Well, Noel's very slow to get up here for England. And he's finally back on his feet as France turn the ball over. Gerard all way to Main Street. Fires the big ball to Fofana. Fofana bends his pace. Finds Michelac on his outside. It's big Bastolo. He's steaming up the wing. Who's in support? Oh, he's got away. And he finds that way from Ford. And who's will score the only try. France hit the lead first. What a spectacular start for the French from nothing really happening. There's the first try. Bastardo with the final ball and the speed away from Ford was too much from Uge. And he goes all the way. Originally started the centre pairing. Fofana, Michelac and then Bastardo gets the wing of the try, gets them. The beautiful ball, he just needed speed and pace. And that is exactly what he delivered. Well, here's the man who had a big hand in creating that try and already has had a big hand in how the French have played. He'll have the kicking duties as well. A relatively simple one, 11 minutes into the match and just to the rides of the uprights. He nails it, good kick. Michelac gets his first points and a first try goes to France and Huge on the right wing. Well, that's exactly what England would not have wanted. They'll want to win this game and continue their good build up to the World Cup. Their home World Cup is back underway. We're going up, goes Sholly. He pulls it in nicely. 
Oh, England are all over this. Good work here from Robshaw. Pulls it in as well. Here's a big bomb. Centering in it to midfield. And comes down with it. It's got to be a try. It's a try. And it looks like it's Courtney Laws. Well, the big second round flies high to the kick and goes tumbling through the tackles in to score the try. Look at this from Youngs. Puts it in the sky. A massive kick up in the air. Down comes Laws. Shrugs off one and two. What an abysmal effort from Pepe. He is just brushed aside. What's a kick though from Youngs. That's impressive. Up goes Laws. Well done. He has gone through three forwards, Benarus, LaRue and Pepe to score that try. And now England swiftly back in the points and back level surely with this kick from Ford. Yes, it's good. No mistake from right in front. Well, a, a very well worked try there from England. The kick from Young's. Showing a bit of their ideal plays. Our England here. Mishlak back to halfway. We're just over the quarter of an hour mark. And we've got two converted tries already. As up goes Noel and he's hammered. Great tackle on Noel and he's gone down in a heap. What a hit from Bastardo. Who's yanking in the ruck. He's got the ball back. Tillis board is hammered. Big tackle from May. We've got a man in back play again, very slow in getting up. Looks like Haskell. Here's Michelin. Michelin! He's through! He cuts in field! And Michelin scores! France hit back! Instantly replying! Oh, Freddy Michelin! What a step, what a run! And he has lost none of his magic when the time really matters. Rugby World Cup, here he comes. Look at this play from this veteran playmaker. He is such a class act. Went around Young's, cut back in field on Brown. The step he had, support on his right. I expect that was Huge out there as well. Didn't need him. What a run. This is sensational. No, it was Fofana he had out on his wing. There's Fofana. Oh, great play from Michelac. France reclaimed their lead and they are back in front by five. Another simple kick just to the right again of the uprights. Strikes it flat and true and in between it goes. Another two points, it's 47. France take their lead back. Well, England, they use something special to get Laws over. Now they're gonna have to look to do something special again to get back in the game. Kicking off and short, straight down, Scholly goes and Michelin fires for Farner. And he goes straight into the tackle of Robshaw. Not really the one you want to hit in a one-on-one. Here's Tillis Board. Nice run from him. Oh, dodgy catch there from Bastero. Pepe waits for it to the base. And he goes to Michelin quickly to Fofana. Wide and deep to Bastero again. Now he looks for Nakatase. This man is dangerous. But he's picked up a couple of men in the tackle and driven. Over the sideline by what looks like Burrell and Joseph. There's a line out here for England. Youngs will throw in. To the front and stolen brilliantly from Pepe. He's been in everything. Michelin hits the line. Bastardo gets numbers. It's for Fana. He's still got OJ with him. He uses them now. It's speed again. Oh, what a run from OJ. Oh, what an absolute thunderous foot forward he put there. That would be glorious to see again. He just nudged away the defender. Unfortunately, there was plenty more from where they came from as Youngs has another throw. Again to the front this time. He has launched free nicely. We're right in the bread basket. France hold this up. And they allow England to push them all completely right on themselves. Look at this. How clever is that from France? Marla goes himself and then gives it to Youngs. And the scrum half. Goes to the 22. Oh, well, advantage to France. Offside pill. No, no, that's a forward pass. It is off a penalty to France. Forward pass by England. Get it right. 
Crouch. Scrum feet. Touch. Will be the call. No offsides. It's just Hit. on defence. First thing you think of is an offside call, but France have kept their lines well here. As England get a shove on, the pack is working well here, and it will come back to England. They've thrown it straight out to Ford, almost losing it in an intercept. Way back it goes, Nakatasi and spitting. Oh, look out, there's Nakatasi. Gets to the one. He's looking for Bastido for final and support. He wiggles his way through one. It gets taken over the 10 minute line. England numbers back here. What a run from Nakatasi. The way it goes to Burrell and Luther Burrell. His hammered pick and holes. He's stolen it. Michelac away for LaRue. And the open nice. side flanker hits it down. France desperately keen to get this ball, but they will not find it. Why it comes. Oh, and a massive high tackle. Oh, and instantly a yellow card. Well, that's a massive call from the ref. It is half time, and France are going to lose a key man. Their second roller, who has been absolutely superb. Pepe is off to the bin. And Ford will look to end this half, and surprisingly so as well. Send the two teams to the sheds for half time. Thought they might have gone for the man advantage in that time, but they have called the break, and we are off the field here. 14 7. Well, it turned out starting like an absolute scoring feast. Now it has really come down to an aggressive arm wrestle between these two sides. The back lines are what has impressed the most so far, especially from France, the old timers, the old firm. Call it what you will. Michelac, Fofana and Bastardo have been sublime for France. Nakatasi's involvement has been very impactful as well. Hussein scored the try. That was really the kickstart for the French. As for England, it was a great move. They got the try for England by Courtney Laws. But it has to wonder, when are they going to involve their back line? The likes of Burrell and Joseph have not been seen at all. Neither have May or Noel either. Wings not seeing much ball for the English. France are dominating position at the moment. 61-39 territory, fairly even. 48-52 to England. The yellow card for the high tackle makes its way on the stat sheet as well as the penalty. One scrum which was taken, fed by France and won by England, which was a huge turnover at the time as well. The tackle count, fairly even. England doing a bit more work on defence. Granted, they've had less ball. We are back and good to go. England and halfway through Ford and he'll kick this game off high in the night sky it goes. And Sholly waits for it till his board delivers a beautiful ball. Oh, look at this to Fofana. He goes straight through the middle. Nice. As he does so well, takes no prisoners till his board again. Bastardo does much of the same. Slimani, nice ball away for Uge. Now Uge's going to look for the ball. He was going to look to kick that one away. Double checked his thoughts and got hammered. Into touch right on halfway. England again will have the line out throw. Young's at the front. And oh, it's stolen again. Pepe is back on the field and is menacing in the line out. Bastardo somehow squirts that ball out. Looking for Nagatasi. Would be one on one. The fullback, Mike Brown, didn't get the chance. And the way this English line out has been tricking, why wouldn't you risk the ball into touch? And once again, Pepe steals it. Michelin from Tillis Ford. Away for Fofana. There's three on one out here. Bastolo breaks away on the wing. He's got support in and out. Throws a miracle ball. But it has picked up all Benaroos. Steals it back. LaRue. Away for Fofana. And he goes to ground and he's got an injury. Oh, this is big. Big call in the midfield. Adequate replacement on the bench in the form of Maximi Murmos. But what a blow that is to lose for Fana. And World Cup build up. Let's hope for the sake Coach. of France he is Coach. okay. But he will not play any Dude. further part in this match. 
Tillis ball to feed the scrum and look at this from France. Pickamalls finds it early. Goes wide Bastino. He's been huge. Huge. Puts a grubber in. Oh, he's got a pass. And it's been put down from Youngs. Oh, he saved the day. Has the little scrum half. What a play. I thought there was a try all day long. Ford is back to the 22 and he will hammer this one flat. Up to halfway goes and LaRue storming forward. Driven back in a good tackle though. Coming in from Billy Vuni Pula. Till it's bought. Pepe's been huge. Here's Uge. Again looking to find a way through in midfield. Looking for work. France recycle quickly. Maestri away for Murmos. Murmos! He's going through himself. Flizzy, miracle ball again. Nakatasi! He somehow got that ball away and picked up from Burrell. Release. And England will reset play. Looking to make something happen. It's going to be Robshaw. He goes over halfway and he's going to lose the ball as well. Oh, I think that was Noah Nakatasi. All over the open side. Flanker like an oily rag here. That was huge. France are going to go for touch through the boots of... Oh, look out. Oh, for the bird of Mishlak, I just had to hold my tone there as the ball didn't actually go out on the full left to bounce. Mike Brown at the back, they couldn't get a grasp on it. And at the hour mark, we have a line out for France. Just six metres out from the English line. Line out perfect to this board. Big ball out for Pickamoles. Look out! The big number eight is charging forward. Quickly recycled to the sport. Oh, they look blindside. There's numbers here. There's big numbers. Oh, it's a pass to no one. What was Bastolo thinking? That was a try every single day of the week. And Bastolo was throwing it away. Nakatasi should have scored about three tries by now. He's missed everything. That throws off straight. And it's come back for France anyway. LaRue on the angle. Finds Murmos. Murmos cuts him in half. He is taken down on the second helping. English defence holds tight just once more. And they turn it over. Here's Bonnie Bonnie Puller away for Noel. And he'll hammer this one. Downfield, Billy Bonnie Puller. Bit of a tongue twister there if you say it too quickly. Line out though for France. He's still hot on attack here. The English line out has been an absolute mess. Trying to think of a better word there, but there's not much more you can say about it as LaRue hits the line hard. And he is taken down quickly. Michelin spots a gap. And free Michelin through again. Looking to post some width here, but he can't get it. And England turn oh, over. Gosh. And they lose the ball, Dan Cole. Knock on. So it's advantage to France and they will have to play the scrum as well as the ball has fallen on the English side. Wow, Tillersport. Crouch. Throwing his body Crouch. on the line there, trying to secure that ball. We have just Sit. eight minutes to go. The scrum feed for France and again they hammer forward. Pickamoles, he'll go himself. Goes to the sport over the top. Mermos, nice for Uge. Uge running away. Oh, big tackle, Mike Brown. Quickly recycled, Michelag, Michelag. Oh, he's sort of forward, and Laws has come away with it. Advantage though over England, looking to escape here. Ford, round the corner for May. Now it's Johnny May in field, he goes. Looking for Robshaw. He's having to hold the play up quite comprehensively as well. Looking for his support. They go short to Vonnie Puller. Why'd they come, Burrell? The way for Noel is hammered. Well, that was an abrupt finish to that hopeful chance for England. There is just two minutes to go. If France can get this ball, surely they will take this one home. Again, the line out perfect from the French. Michelac, oh, good step. Straight off his left foot he goes. That's time. Michelac's in the ruck though. What are they going to do here? They go intercepted and a chance for England. What has happened? France just needed to kick Release. that out. Nakatasi saves the day. But there's a lifeline here for England. It's there for Youngs. He's driven Release. backwards. Oh, France are desperate for this ball. Youngs, wide. 
Burrell over the top of Garner's a chance for May. He is isolated though, and he'll be driven over the touchline. Three Frenchmen onto Johnny May, and it's good night and all over. France hang on for a big win as they head to the Rugby World Cup. Confidence, it will should be sky high. Wow, what an entertaining, thrilling match we have winners here. Three tries in the opening 20 minutes that has had no further impact on the scoreline for the rest of the match. Unbelievable to think. Three tries in 20 minutes and then none for 60. That is just unbelievable stuff. I think England thought the way the game was going, the open free-flowingness of that match, that they would find a way back and it would be a real battle of who can score with the best attack. Well, it very quickly turned on its head, though, as France shut the gate. They put in some big defensive efforts. England as well. You can say exactly the same. The point scorer is Michelac and Uge, one apiece. Michelac perfect with the boot, two from two. I think France were really looking to line up something with a three-pointer in it, but the opportunity just never fell their way. As for England, Courtney Laws with a, a very good try. I thought that was one of the better tries we have seen in recent times. Converted by Ford. Still a good performance from England, but not enough to beat the French at home at Stade de France. A great match. What a build-up this has been. We've got two teams who are World Cup hopefuls, you have to say. They go up there probably in the top four or five sides possible to win the Rugby World Cup. France the victors here over England. Will this be a match we could possibly see again in the knockout stages of the Rugby World Cup? Let's have a final look at the stats here. And you say position. Really, France should have no excuse for winning this match. And England probably could have a one or two as well. Only having 36% of the ball and just being nudged out on territory as well. They kicked a lot more and they had almost won one third of the line breaks. France did well. I think Nakatasi should have scored about two or three tries himself. Bastardo's distributing on the left side was horribly poor. On the right side, though, he was fantastic. So problems there for France. They may look to clean up into the big tournament. But other than that, the yellow card, a bit of an indiscretion. All in all, a good match for France. The injury to Fofana, as we're hearing, not too bad, should be fit to still go to the Rugby World Cup. But for me today, that is all my time. And we have had a classic cracking match. France the victors, 14 to 7 over England. Hope you all enjoy this match and hope you all enjoy all the World Cup build up uh, content coming your way in the future. So thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying this. Hit that thumbs up if you are. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all next time. But until then, take care.